Wedding and Party Network. Today is day four of our Crafty Christmas Week, and today we're gonna to talk about holiday glass painting. We're gonna show you different techniques. Today we're gonna to show you how to do it on a wine glass, but also you can do it on vases, just a different variety of vases, different glass, it has to be glass vases, glass wine bottles, if you have those lying around the house, or even a, you can use it on glass plates also that can make great gifts, great centerpieces for your dinner parties, or just a great Christmas decoration in your house. The supplies that you'll need for this project is we used wine glasses. You'll also need some enamel paint that you can get at your local craft store, which again, just you can pick out Christmas colors, what you like or what goes with your theme, and then paint brushes. And that's what you need. We also use some painters tape that we taped off the lines that we wanted to paint, just like for example this. So let's get started. What we're going to show you today is we're going to show you this painting technique where it kind of gets darker and then fades out. So, and also when you're painting these glasses, it's better to do it on a white surface. If you don't have a white surface, you can use a paper plate. It's just better. You can see through it and you can, it's just better. You can tell what you're doing. This brush technique is called stippling. <laughs> To get a better fade, you might want to just, if you have too much paint, just wipe it off on your plate. Okay. And one, another technique that you might want to use is just to hold your paintbrush flat and then just add some texture. And then you can just kind of move it towards the top. So I might want to, when you're doing this, do like a one coat of it and then let that dry and then kind of then go back over it again to get a darker red. If you want to make your green more of a darker green, we're gonna just gonna take some of the red and then mix it in with that. Okay, and then we're just gonna start painting at the top. Okay, and there's the top and also you might want to do two coats of that to get an even layer and also make it a little bit darker. Okay, and once you're done painting, you might want to let the paint dry just a little bit before you take off the painter's tape so it doesn't run your, down your glass. And then once that's done, you put it in the oven for th at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And actually, a good tip might be is to put your glass in there actually while it's preheating. So, and then this is what your finished product will look like. 